Hi everyone, Parker Galenity here with Math 232. I want to take you through the mock exam and just show you how this thing's designed, how a real exam will look like, uh, so you can get a sense for what's coming up. So the mock exam uh, will look something like this. It's going to have this very cute cat that will guide you through the process of writing the, the mock exam. So we'll start off by filling out our name. Okay, then our signature. And our student number. Now, we, uh, we understand that you're writing this exam online, you're writing it at home, you're under a lot of pressure, and we don't want to make things more stressful for you. Uh, so we want to keep this as simple as possible. And we're going to ask that you read the following declaration, which says, in submitting the exam, I confirm that my contact during this test adheres to the code of behavior on academic matters. I confirmed that I did not act in such a way that would constitute cheating, misrepresentation, unfairness, including but not limited to using unauthorized aids, assistance, impersonating another person, and committing plagiarism. Please sign your name to confirm the above. So please put your signature here as well. Okay, so we understand that you're writing this under a lot of pressure but we want to make sure that this is the fairest exam for everyone. So please try and keep things fair. Don't use unauthorized aids. Don't hire anyone to write your exam. Um, we're all in this together and we want your support. Okay, the next page of the exam is going to show us how to uh, figure out which version we're writing. Okay, so you'll be presented with the following magical decoder ring that tells you how to um, how to find the questions that you're supposed to answer. Okay, so uh, it's this big chart. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our student number and we're going to write it uh, in these blanks up here. Okay, so following the example at the bottom of the page, we're going to write our student number 10056. Five six, four, three, six. And that's going to help us determine which questions uh, to solve. So we write our student number on the line that says student number. Then for each column, find the row that contains the digit of your student number. So let's do that in a particular case. OK, let's look at uh, this column for short answer five. Short answer five, I see okay. My student number contains a four at that spot. So I'm going to write version B for short answer five. Okay, and you can go ahead and do this with the rest of your uh, digits. Okay, so on this exam, you're going to write version B of short answer one, version C of short answer two, version B of short answer three, version C of short answer four, version B of short answer five, version B of long answer one, version C of long answer two. Okay, so that's the process of using this um, decoder ring, and that'll tell you which versions of the questions to write. Okay, so for a short answer one, we want to be writing version B. So let's move over to short answer one. Okay, and for this, we're writing 
version B here. Okay, so now we want to sketch the vector field um, absolute value of x plus absolute value of y. Okay, so in this upper quadrant, I'm going to be drawing guys like this. Okay, et cetera. So we're going to label these according to the question. So this says uh, that we should label this i plus j, i plus 2j. Okay, there's one last feature of this exam that I want to point out to you, is that uh, for the mock exam, each question has a little cat at the bottom that will ask you some question about how it went, how things are working. So uh, please take some time to really intentionally answer those. We're really curious. So let's say that that took me uh, two minutes. Okay, take a moment, write that out. Uh, when you submit your Crowdmark exam, uh, we're going to read over those, uh, those feedback and actually incorporate them into the design of the real exam that we'll be writing. So um, please take some time to answer the feedback asked for from the cat. We really, really could. We, could use it and we really appreciate it. So that's a little bit of a tour of the mock exam. This will be coming out on uh, Tuesday at 9 a.m. and will be available until uh, noon. So please take the time to really intentionally write it just like you would a real exam uh, for three hours. We want to make sure that you have time to upload uh, and we will take your feedback into account uh, so that everyone gets the best possible real exam on Thursday, April uh, 16th. Okay, thank you folks.